Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day, not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match in prospect nonetheless. I'm Derek Ray, here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon to help me describe all the action, and excited to be bringing you action from the Premier Division, coming up next. It is Shamrock Rovers facing Cork City. Cheers Derek, yes, excited about this one, interesting matchup for me, we should get a good game here hopefully. This is the lineup for the home team. A 4 4 2, but with a diamond lead. Yeah, there's four players in midfield, but really only three. The two wide players will stay wide and help the full backs. There's one just sitting in front of the back four, but the number 10 is slightly advanced. He will provide the support for the strikers. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And the match begins. Green. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. Just cutting off the supply. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Now he's got to stay calm. That was interesting to look at the table. And what can we say about these runaways, for want of a better word? Well, they've got such a healthy lead, haven't they? You just don't see them dropping too many points. They will suffer a lack of form at some point, but it's whether they can be caught from behind. The real difficult thing for the club's chasing is they just look so good. Absolutely brilliant. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of... And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, here is the replay, and to be fair, the keeper from that distance hasn't got much chance of keeping it out. Lovely goal. 1-0 then. Green. Well, if only he had timed us run slightly better. Offside. O'Connor. Well, that is how to play advantage. Will they get themselves level here? Couldn't grab hold of it. In it goes at the second time of asking, and the keeper feels hung out to dry. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out, one apiece. I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Who is it for, Alan McAnally? It's a goal for Dundalk. 21 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. And possession lost, intercepted. Can John Scott, that's John Scott, please make your way to the ticket office. Well, not covering himself in glory defensively. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this? 
I don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead. Davis. Green. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. And I'd be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. And now, passing it through. Can he put it in? And a goal! In the lead again! Fully deserved! Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. Well, 2-1 it is here. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. I think you've got to conclude that was good refereeing. A free kick in the end after initially playing advantage, but it just wasn't there. The hosts are struggling in terms of possession, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Davis. Morel. A disappointing end to the move. The referee knew that was foul play, but advance. Oh, what an opportunity! And the keeper taking care of the situation. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. A routine save. Davis. It might be. Well, he'll be irked with himself. Ran into an offside position. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Green. Oh, showing excellent vision. Can he take advantage? Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for him. Well, this is worth another look, Derek. Lovely movement and guile to easily evade the defender. And he takes full advantage of the time he's given. It's an accomplished finish, too. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Ball's gone. Clattered away. Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally. Well, a badly timed run. Just a fraction offside. Well, we had to interrupt Alan McAnally in full flow there. Apologies for that. To reconfirm for you, the away side did score. And it's level now. At... He's in here. And foiled by the post. Oh, surely. Oh, off the post. Still alive. Well, you can't come much closer to scoring than that.
Well, straying offside, and it wasn't close. So a personnel change then. The visitors have totally controlled possession, but after that, it's been disappointing. I'd like to see them use those wide areas around the defence, get round them as opposed to trying to go through the middle. Pulls it back. Still possibilities. That is a moment he would dearly love to have back, if possible. Yeah, it wasn't his best effort, was it? But I bet he thought, I haven't got anything on. Why not try a shot? So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Harris. An effective challenge. Davis. Moving it forward. That's how to rob them of possession. Read it well. Really getting stuck in. It's a good looking ball in behind. Chance maybe. Tremendous block. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a second goal for Dundalk. 72 minutes played. 2-1. And couldn't stay onside. That's a pity. Substitution time it is here. Chance to run at them. Could play it in. Fifteen minutes remaining. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. Alas, a wild, wild attempt. Well, after that effort, I'm not sure whether he's right or left-footed. Throw-ins given. Harris. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Now, can they create something? Will he find the net? Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. The referee is given a corner. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. O'Brien. O'Connor. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. Now the delivery, just couldn't capitalise there. Shot attempted, unable to find the back of the net and still a lot of work ahead of them here. Well, he probably surprised if he scored from there, but it is worth an effort. Hickey. We have entered the final minute of normal time. Offside the decision. space for them here could reduce the deficit and in it goes and you never know in this game they might yet be able to level it for the visitors. and there goes the final whistle and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome Lee Time for just a few questions. 